Hello all, this is Christopher Dana from Trinity Software. In this video, let us see how to create a simple hotel management system in Python. We have four modules in our hotel management project. The first module is the client checks in. Whenever a new client checks in, the hotel admin should get their details like name, address and phone number. And based on their choice of room type and availability, room will be allotted by the hotel admin. And also the check-in date should be noted. And the second model is the room service. Here room number should be obtained as the input. And then the hotel admin will provide the menu card and calculate the room service bill based on what food items they have chosen. The third model is that hotel admin can view occupied room details. And finally checkout module. Whenever the client check out from the room, get the room number and room bill should be calculated based on the duration of the stay and price of the room type. Finally, we have to sum up the room bill and the room service bill. These are the modules we are going to implement in our project. Then let's see the Python concepts we will be using in our project. Dictionary data structure is used to store data and we can also access the data easily and quickly. Date time module. The date class from this date time module is used for calculating the duration of the stay. To get the check-in date and check-out date, we'll be making use of the date class. The last one is the whoop concept. With the Python class, we can write an organized and reusable code. Okay, fine. So now let's start writing the code. Initially, we have to import date class from date time module. From date time, import date class. Then create a class namely hotel. Now we need to write the four methods for those four modules. Apart from this, we are also going to have a init method. It's not compulsory to have the init method, but if you want to put some initialization code in your class, you can make use of the init method. Okay, the syntax for init method is df double underscore init and all the methods in the class takes self as the first parameter in the method definition. Okay, this self parameter is a reference to the current instance of the class and it is used to access the variables. After this, you can pass in any other arguments. Init method will not be called explicitly. The init method runs as soon as an object of the class is created. So right now, I'm not going to place anything inside the init method. I'll just use pass keyword here. Pass doesn't do anything. Later, we'll modify this init method. Okay, now I'm going to create a start application method, self as the argument. Here we create a menu driven program using while loop. A while loop is going to run infinitely. Okay, I have used a print statement to welcome the guest to the hotel, and then five options are given. The first of all represent the four models, and the last one is the exit option. The user can select any one among the five options. If choice is one, that is check in means we are getting name, address, and phone number as the input. So the method to be defined is check in and it takes three arguments name, address and phone. And similarly for room service, room number is passed as an argument. For displaying the occupied rooms, we are not passing any argument. And for checkout, room number is passed as an argument. If choice is 5, we are coming out of this infinite while loop. And if any other number is entered, we are just printing invalid choice. Please try again. Now we need to create an object. Come out of the class and create an object. Say h is equal to hotel. So in this way, object is created. Then we can call this method using dot operator h dot start underscore app. So now we should also define these methods. I have just written the function definition with the pass keyword. As I have mentioned already, the first argument must be the self parameter. Okay, we execute it now. So we have got the menu. Now you can choose any option, but we have not written the code for all these models. So when you press 1, client name should be entered, then address, then the phone number. Yet to write the code. Press now okay let me initialize some dictionaries in init method so I'm using three dictionaries in our project self dot rooms which is an empty dictionary and self dot available rooms here it contains four key value pairs 
which represents the room types available in this hotel that is standard deluxe executive and suite for simplicity purpose i have a list of only three rooms in each category you can have as many number of rooms as you want okay it means that under standard category 101 102 and 103 are the room numbers similarly for deluxe executive and suite type and then the room price for standard the key is one price is 2000 for deluxe it is 4000 and it goes on like this okay so we have initialized these three dictionaries in this check-in method after getting all these details based on the user selection of the room type the admin should alert a room number from that particular category okay fine so initially i am getting the input from the user in a variable called room type standard deluxe executive suit and you have to press the corresponding number to select the room type and if the room type is one means standard room type is selected so we are going to make use of the self dot available rooms dictionary here we are checking if this particular key contains a value then we are using pop method to remove a particular element from this list okay so pop of zero it means that it will remove the first element from this list which is the value for the key standard self dot available rooms standard dot pop of zero so that will be the allotted room number if the list doesn't contain any element then we are giving a message to the user that standard room is not available now and we are using return statement so that control goes to the place from where it has been called so again the menu will be displayed okay similarly for room type 2 3 and 4 we have done this process this last final else is that if you are given any number apart from 1 2 3 4 we have a print message stating that you have to choose a valid room type so now the room number has been alerted after this we need to retrieve the check-in date get the date month and year of check-in from the user so for this we are using this map function and split method you are getting the input first date month and year will be obtained as a string split method will split the string into a list okay and map function will apply int function to each and every element of the list so finally you will be getting three values that is dmy this check-in date can be represented in the form of a date object by passing year month and date you must pass it in this order fine now it's time to fill the content of self.rooms self.rooms dictionary was empty earlier now self.rooms pass room number as the key and the value is again going to be a dictionary so the value contains a dictionary with these key value pairs that is a name address and phone number of the client and check-in date we have obtained in this check-in variable and room type also we have obtained already from the user and the last key value pair is room service we will be making use of this room service in the next module whenever a new client checks in the room service is initialized to rupees zero if the client doesn't make use of the room service it will remain zero or if the client uses the room service it will be updated fine then we are just printing checked in this particular person from this address to this room number on this particular date verify the output now for check-in name address I'm just giving the city name alone just giving some fake phone number room type let me select room type number two enter the check-in date in this date month and year format so the current date is 2nd august i am giving 31 7 2023 okay so we got the message checked in cristobal Taney to room number 201 from deluxe room type 201 has been popped out okay so you can check in as many number of guests as we need again let me check in some other customer okay chooses executive room type and the check-in date is okay in each category we have only three rooms if all the three rooms are occupied the fourth person who chooses the same room type will not be allotted the room so we'll have another check-in contact number and executive So room number 302 is allotted 
again another person room type 3 31 all the three rooms of executed type is allotted no one has checked out as of now so check in and she opts for executive type we got the message that sorry executive room not available and the menu is shown again it means she can choose some other room type okay now let's write the code for room service okay in the room service we are passing room number as the argument actually the self taught rooms dictionary will contain the currently occupied room numbers so if the entered room number is present in the self taught rooms only in that case it's a valid room number so we'll be showing the menu card to the guest okay six options one two three four five and six is to exit and again we have an infinite while loop we are getting the choice from the user the user has chosen the choice one getting the quantity We'll be calculating the bill amount by multiplying the price with the quantity and adding it up with the previous room service bill if any okay finally we have to print a message stating that the room service bill is served out rooms of room number room service value this sales part means that it is an invalid room number this sales means that it's an invalid option so if you are pressing any other number apart from 1 to 6, you will get the message that it is an invalid option. Okay, so let's execute it now. We need to check in. Okay. Date. Okay, checked in to room number 201. Now to avail the room service, I am pressing the choice 2. You have to enter the room number. So this 201 is a room number. Here let me select choice 2. Quantity I am giving 2. Any other option. Breakfast. And the quantity is 1. So I don't have any other option. So I give 6. So 17 to 2 plus 100. 140 plus 100. We got 240 as a room service bill. So after coming out. Again you can make use of the room service. Enter a choice. Then you give room number 201. Choice 1. Quantity 1. So already we had 240 as the room service bill. Now it has become 260. Fine. Now we need to write the code for displaying the occupied rooms. Here, if not self taught rooms, that is, if a self taught rooms doesn't contain any key value pair, then we are printing a message that no rooms are occupied at the moment. Else, I'm just giving occupied rooms. And then these details are printed. If you want, you can print any other details from this rooms dictionary. So room number, name and phone number alone is printed here. You can access that using the for loop. For room number, comma details. That is key, comma value in self.rooms.items. So room number is printed first. Then details of name and details of phone number is returned. So let's execute it now. We need to check in address and contact number the room type standard okay again check in executive fine two rooms are occupied right now so when i press the choice three the occupied rooms room number name and phone number is shown uh, the last option is a checkout option. Let's write the code. Checkout option. We will be getting the room number as an input. First condition we need to check if the room number is present in that self taught rooms dictionary. We need to find out the checkout date. We will use date dot today method to retrieve the current date. And check in date we have already stored it in self taught rooms room number with the key check in date. Okay. So based on this we can calculate the duration just by subtracting checkout date minus check in date and this will be a time delta object. This object dot days will give you the duration then getting the room type from this rooms dictionary room number of room type. So whenever a client checks out that room number allotted to them should be placed back in the same list that is if a particular person 
vacates the standard room type and if the room number is 101 that must be placed back to the list right so for that we have given self dot available rooms of std dot we used append method of the list append of room number so this particular room number will be added to the end of the list if the room type is 1 similarly for 2 3 and 4 the corresponding key value will be updated okay then we can print the hotel receipt and the hotel receipt should contain the name address phone number all these things are obtained from self.rooms dictionary and room number we have already obtained it as an argument and check-in date and check-out date we have it as date object and we are using this strftime method to change that into string formatting so percentage d represents the date and percentage b represents the month in terms of words and percentage y represents the year so it will be displayed in this way date then month in words and year for check-in date and check-out date and number of days we have already calculated and stored it in duration price per day is obtained from room price dictionary then we are calculating the room bill we are getting the room price for that corresponding room type and we are multiplying it that with the duration the room service bill we have already calculated and it is stored in rooms dictionary so summing up these two things the total bill will be room bill plus room service after calculating the total bill we need to delete that particular room number from self dot rooms dictionary using this keyword del else condition will be if the room number is entered wrongly then we are giving a message that room number is not occupied fine execute and enter all the choices the first choice client name Thirty-seven twenty twenty-three. okay join has checked into room number 401 on this particular date then let's have one more client Deluxe check-in date 31 7 okay when we display the occupied rooms now two rooms are occupied you can avail the room service also room number 401 4 quantity 1 that's it so room service is 150 now for performing checkout option then I give room number 401 name address phone number is printed room number is printed so number of days is calculated from check-in date and check-out date total number of days 3 per day price is given and room bill is calculated plus the room service bill so total bill is given so let me give choice 4 and room number 201 again here the room service bill will be 0 and the total bill is 8000 since the number of days is 2 okay so we have created a simple hotel management system in python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe